There's a tier 5 dragon nest down here. Why are the blocks moving? Oh god. Lucky elephant, it is your day. No. Ow. Ah, oh, it is a bad guy. Oh god. Hey, Orville, welcome back to the second episode of the Summoner Only. Yes, we're in a new world. We had some mod problems, so I had to make a new world. It's all good. Let's get right to it. Why is there an enderman chilling over here? Oh, let's get right to it. Uh, there was a lot of mob problems with the original pack I had. A lot of things weren't working the way I wanted them to. So, there's a bear. So, I had to change some things up. And, uh, here we are. Things should work normally. We have different mods installed. We took out other mods. So, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, one of the mods you can see we have installed is Mo Creatures. What does the mod do? As in, Mo Creatures. I know, it's crazy. But, yeah. Our first goal right now. Very simple. Find a village. I found one. I see it let's go check yeah oh god there yeah okay so we're kind of stuck in between a tiger and then a cockatrice but i have a very simple goal right now that does not involve the cockatrice it's to get to the village it's to either get a pet dog or a pet rat and yes i said rat because i actually have the rat mod working correctly instead of how it worked before where rats spawn like hostile mobs in darkness and it was a lot harder to find them now i have them spawn normally and when i say normally i mean they like i don't know they legit just spawn normally not like a hostile mob so that means that we should be able to tame some rats and i've been told that rats are super op once you get the materials required to upgrade them but let's get to it i want to see that overpowered rat what's more fun than an overpowered rat we're gonna check the roof right away because that's where the rats should be if they spawned because sometimes plain and simple the rats just don't spawn like it's a chance that rats will spawn in these top areas and it looks like we got the bad chance it's all good we find a new village we went rinse and repeat in the meantime though i will be taking all the cheese sadly it seems that there is no bones meaning i cannot tame the wolves of course why would there ever be bones in my summoner only playthrough when i need it the most oh as you can see we got some ants the ants those can be a, a tameable mob right there it might take a little bit more effort to tame them but that's definitely an option but yeah i feel like the hardest part of this playthrough is definitely gonna be the beginning every time and uh you now having to restart it's a little it sucks a little bit but in the uh second episode i didn't record the second episode before i made a new mod pack and in that second episode i was literally like just going through hell in terms of just trying to like breed my dogs because there was a ice dragon that straight up was camping the house so i couldn't really leave the house so i was stuck like breeding the dogs in like a very small area like if i still have the footage i'll i'll, I'll post it or i'll include it in this oh 17 bones hold up we can we can do something with 17 bones oh my god look how many bones we're getting this is a good start i take back everything i said the bones are game changing magic tether i believe these kind of work like ender pearls so we might be able to actually use those i guess let's find out right here ready where the hell am i dragon <laughs> dragon's a little close hey what's up some way somehow i have made it out of there i don't know how let's go back let's tame the dogs we can actually get our first generation of dogs going here all right let's free my boys welcome boys i'm here to save you all check it out come on join the team join the team without too much effort thank you oh come on oh he's being stubborn please that dude literally took like eight bones from us. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. We got a team. That's all that matters. That's honestly more progress than I could have ever wished in the first episode here. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the flying insects and then I believe there's a dragon over there. Well, actually, maybe it wasn't a dragon. The flying insect shouldn't be a problem. Okay, the insects are every. Oh, the dragon might be a problem. I have another mod in here. On top of the armor mod, the dog armor mod. And it's like a dog collar mod. And the collar mod also gives them more defense. So, like, we can get our dogs, like, tanky. So, that's a really good thing here. Let's actually check out the collars. Can I craft them? Oh, yeah, you can craft them. And as you can see, they're not too bad to craft. We got a nice little ugly ass biome coming up. This biome is ugly. Brushland? Terrible. I hate this place. But yeah, we have a simple goal right now. Oh, God. That's a chieftain over there. We don't want to mess with those guys. We have a simple goal right now. And that is to find a village that we could call home. Uh, and preferably, preferably that village have rats 
and other dogs we could tame there. We find that we're chilling. Uh, we also gotta find a village that does not have dragons next to it. That also that'd be uh, amazing. Hey dogs, do you want to kill a crab for me? Let's get our first victim here for our dogs. It will be the crab from the quark mod. Come on over. What the hell? Beat its ass. Don't let that thing beat your ass. You beat its ass. Here, do you want some crab meat? Oh, here we go. We got a village. Nice. Right next to a wizard tower, too. I'm not going to check out the wizard tower. Here we go. We got a village. Let's check the map. Let's make sure that there's no dragon nest. It looks good. There's no dragon nest. All right, boys. I think we found our home. The only thing that would make this village better is if... Look at this little guy down here. Is if... The village had Elvis. They knew it. No, is if the village had a pet shop with rats in it. Please have rats. Please. And there's no rats. Why would there be rats? There's never rats. The thing is, I did a test world and there was rats. But not, not in the, the village that I want there to be rats, of course. It's fine. It's all good. We got the next best thing. And that is more wolves. What is this? Why is there a, a hole in the floor right here, guys? It is extremely loud in here. Oh, shoot. We get to kill all the parrots. Who's hungry? I got y'all food. All right, so in this episode, I definitely want to get my hands on our first spell. It's a pirate ship over there, I believe. There might be some goodies on there. But yeah, I want to get our first spell. So that means either we're going to have to find a good dungeon to get our first spell, or we got to find a wizard. And uh, obviously, both of them are fairly simple to do let's go ahead let's get some more of these flowers we're obviously getting these flowers and then i should go check out the wizard over here okay so far not selling anything too cool horse whistle uh we do have this wizard tower over here next to i believe this is where medusa is we kind of don't want to mess with medusa for obvious reasons but yeah let's check out the wizard though the wizard for sure we got to check out it's a bad guy i think ah oh, it is a bad guy oh god he struck me with lightning. What a dickhead. That guy honestly might have been killable with dogs, but for now, I'll leave him alone. Is that like a llama? The heck? <laughs> Prismarine Llama Golem. What's up? How do I tame you? You'd be funny to tame. We might actually be able to get some loot here. Oh, that might be the case. Look at that. Oh, oh, what the fuck? How did that happen? But yeah, let, let's see. What, what's in here? Oh, just a bunch of goodies. Look at that. Oh, this dog or wolf armor in some of these. Oh, damn, we got a whole iron set. <laughs> All right, obviously, throw out this stuff I'm not going to need, which is like a majority of this stuff. Silver? What the hell am I doing with silver? Hey, if these storage... If these storage crates got goodies like that, though, I will be more than glad to open them up. Obviously, going to get rid of all the weapons. All right, what about it here? Before... I feel like he might be able to get out and get me, so... Uh, there you go. Let's be careful, because obviously there's zombies down here, too. But can I just, like, snag that chest right there? Would you mind if I snagged one of those chests back there? Yes, probably. He seems like he might mind. Whoa! Calm down. I gotta snag him like this. This is a bad idea. This is a bad angle. All right, what do we got here? Helmet? Helmets could be useful. Oh, here we go. Spell books is what we're after. And then let's get the one over here, too. What do y'all got? Okay, more spell scrolls. Okay, we got stone tablets. I don't know what the hell these do, but I guess I'll take them. Look at this. There's a tier five dragon nest down here. That's crazy. Crazy because we found one so early in the playthrough. You know, usually these things are pretty hidden. As you can see, they could just straight up be underground like this. But, uh, you know, we're safer now. At least I know where one is if I ever need to, you know, come here. That We could get a dragon as one of our summons though if i figure a good way to take that thing out you know we don't have lycanite's mobs installed so like there's no like easy cheese to take it out you may be questioning like why do you not have lycanite mobs installed i hate the mod i don't like the developer i feel like i said this already maybe it was in like a cut episode but yeah there's there's a lot of obvious reasons they do have a cool summoning system in lycanites but like there's a lot of other garbage in lycanites you got to deal with just for that summoning system and then like i could have tweaked the mod to like be exactly how i wanted it to but like that's just too much effort do you guys have the rats no rats are you fucking kidding me <laughs> What is this? I made a world before and that was supposed to be episode two, but then like certain things didn't work. So I had to regenerate the world. There was rats in that world. I tamed a rat in that world. And now we're in a world that I want to keep for surely for episode two. And there ain't no damn rats anywhere. Like, what is this? All right, we found another wizard tower. Please let there be a summoner spell. Why are the blocks moving? Oh God, I can see why the blocks are moving. <laughs> 
You, you see all these like towers and stuff though, like all these just natural structures everywhere. This is one of my favorite things about having mods installed. I get to see all this crazy stuff like that, including stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I do want to check out the desert temple. You know, as I'm recording this episode, this like second episode has taken the course of like a week, two weeks, maybe even more than that. Oh god, there's another big death worm right there. That or it's the same one. Yeah, like this episode has taken a long time in between each clip. Sometimes I take like days to break because you know I gotta go get other things done. Also, the thumbnail is done by the time I'm recording this clip. So that's very nice. That means I can upload it whenever. But yeah. We got all the loot in here. Damn, it is a lot of loot. Let's go ahead. Let's get grabbing everything. But before I do that, let's be smart. Break all the TNT, of course. And now we may peer into the chest here. Oh, look at this. We have an upgrade tome. Very nice. We got a spell book. There's a lithin scythe. Can't even use it, so I'm not even gonna touch it. One siphon upgrade, okay. Gold armor. I like, do I need this token fragment? Yeah, probably. Because look, if we get enough of them, we could go to Ratlantis. And it would be pretty fun to go to Ratlantis, I can't lie. But there's a lot of books in here. We got an ancient spell right here Magic Missile. So before we check out the spells, you know, I found a treasure map, so I might as well do it, right? I believe I'm going northeast here, I think. Let's hope I'm going the right direction. This is a nice area. Like, I really like the green with the, the, what the fuck is this called? Terracotta? Like, it sticks out really nice, or it contrasts very nice. All right, I found the chest. There better be some goodies in here. Broken heart. Lethal damage destroys empty heart containers instead. Sleep to regenerate heart containers. I don't know if that sounds that good. Uh, I will go ahead and take a majority of this stuff. Wasn't exactly the greatest loot, but it's fine. All right, let's go ahead. Let's make our first wand here. We're going to need some nuggets. I'm going to need some sticks. Don't tell me I don't have sticks. How do I not have sticks? All right, let us go ahead and make the wand. I believe it's like this boom okay we got our magic wand beautiful and now we need to put some mana on it boom there we go and now we got our wand here so this is what we do next we take all our scrolls here we got a scroll of identification i don't remember how this works i think you just put it next to a spell or you just hold a spell yeah, there you go. Stone Punch. That's pretty, that's a cool spell. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. Magic Missile. Okay, so we already know what that one is. We need the ones that we don't know and that are novice for obvious reasons. This is what we're going to do instead. We're just going to shove all the novice spells on here. And then we're going to see what ones do what. So let's go a little bit away from the base just in case I do something reckless. And let's see. Ignite. Okay, so we summon fire. Uh, I consider this a summon. I don't know. <laughs> A little bit hard to use. I'm trying to place it right on the snake. There you go. All right, what's next? Okay, this one I have to use on something. So I don't want to use it on an elephant. Ah, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Let's use it on an elephant. Mind trick. Okay, I don't know what the hell that does. And last but not least for our novice spells, ward. What does ward do? I think that gives us like defense or is it like the ward in skyrim how you get like a little shield i don't know all right so sadly no summoner spells there but i think the more we just use like random ass spells i think the more our wand levels up yeah and once we get our wand to here then we can put the apprentice upgrade okay okay i got it might have to do a little bit more exploring then because you know i have not found any spells here we got a couple of these spells we could try these out these scroll spells see what they're looking like uh i should check that ship over there because i need to just get more and more novice books until we get a novice summon be able to see this in action okay backfired looks like a storm is brewing okay i, I live in the desert okay so this one just doesn't want to work what about this one okay this one i have to use on something lucky elephant it is your day no ow don't use that one conjure pickaxe okay so this is also pretty much summoning conjuration is summoning in my opinion so look at that we could conjure a pickaxe if i wanted to boys i think we have just been saved this man right here this lovely looking man he has a trade summon zombie thank you sir i've been looking for this we go ahead put it on there we go and now we can summon a zombie. I'm not going to do it in his house because I'm a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. But ready? Game Raiders 101 zombie. He's got a shield. He's burning. That's bound to happen. He's a zombie. But I can't believe we actually found our first summon. That's crazy. I kind of want to test him out on something. He's not really following me. He's a little stupid. Oh, here we go. It's a perfect test. Oh, this zombie's a little buff, though. Whatever. 
Go fight him. Beat his ass. He has a name, Edmund. The motherfucker who made the Binding of Isaac. Hey, you're supposed to be like... You're supposed to be like battling this guy for me. Oh my god, he can't get past his shield. My zombie sucks. Come on, get him. Get Edmund. Here, I'll summon multiple. I don't know how many I can summon. Get Edmund. Oh, there you go. They're on his ass. What? He lost like no health. Okay, hold on. I need to make a strategy here. There you go. Yeah, get him. He can't go anywhere. He literally can't. He's running. Why is he running? Don't worry, boys. We will take this menace out. No matter how long it takes, we will take out the menace known as Edmund. Get Edmund. He has the strongest shield I've ever seen, but he can't. What is that guy doing? What is... He's fighting a floating pickaxe. The gold menace known as Edmund must die. We will kill this man. Guys, this one right here. You guys are fighting the wrong one? What are you? They're fighting a floating pickaxe. Oh, there you go. Yeah, get Edmund. Look at him. He's running. Keep the boys coming. As long as I got mana, I can, I can keep them coming. Yeah. What you about to do, Edmund? What you about to do? I got a crew on you. That shield can only block so many hits. Oh, he's at like half a heart. Oh, he's running. Oh, we did it. We did it. It took like 30 zombie summons, but we did it. Look at that. He has flim flam occult aversion. What the hell? Edmund's energetic guilt helmet of the sea. What the hell was he carrying? What does that even mean? But yeah, now with our first summon found, I feel like it only makes sense that I try and find another summon. <laughs> but now I can actually like defend myself when I'm out doing things. Like I don't have to carry a pack of wolves with me. So like that's a good thing. I think I'll try and find one more like actual summon here. Cause I, I don't know if the books like pop up and say what they actually summon in, do they? Yeah, I don't think they do. But yeah, I'm gonna try and look for some more treasure. And then if I find another summon, boom, I'll end the episode off there. All right, so I've been searching around for like 30 minutes now trying to find structures that i could loot wizards that i could talk to and uh you know i found a bunch but none of them have had any novice spells neither has a single village had any rats to tame either so like the rats are completely broken i know there's probably some people in the comments that are gonna be like nah they spawn in the dark but like again i changed that said that they would spawn normally they haven't done that a single time i don't know what happened and again i'm gonna bring up the test world i did where i had a failed recording of the second episode and there was rats in that but now, like, you know, when I have an actual world that I want to keep going in here, there's no damn rats. But yeah, I'm going to end this first episode off here. I will still look for stuff off camera. Maybe I'll even do a stream of this of this series now that we finally have our first summon and stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Next episode coming out, I don't know, probably going to be like a couple weeks. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get the thumbnail ideas and stuff sent to my boy Planta. Then once that's done, then I can actually kind of work on the episode. I mean, I could work on the episode ahead of time, but like, it doesn't really matter. If the thumbnail isn't done, I can't post the video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next episode. Wait a minute, right when I ended the episode, look, there's a rat. There's a rat. Oh my God. How did this happen? The rat's running away. Oh, he's trying to kill himself. Take the cheese. Take the cheese. Okay, I tamed the rat. Look at that. Holy. So there was some other good news besides our first summon in this now the only bad thing is here before now i officially end off the episode is i gotta walk all the way back home which is uh a little far i don't, I don't even know where the hell we live <laughs> is this where we live oh my god <laughs>